Alright, so I'm having a little bit of an issue with my vehicle. When I get in the car and I turn the fan on to get some air conditioning going, turn it to one, there's nothing. Turn it to two, nothing. Same as three. But when I turn it to four, it blows out full power. So that's a good indicator that the blower motor resistor is bad. We're going to be replacing the blower motor resistor in this video, uh, which I picked up from AutoZone for $13. So it's really not too bad at all. To get access to the blower motor resistor, you must first open the glove box and press it in on the sides to pass the rubber stops. Once inside, you will need an 8mm socket and an extension to remove one bolt holding the resistor in place. I was able to loosen up the bolt without a ratchet. Next you will need to tilt back the resistor and pull it out. Then unplug the electrical connector to remove it completely. Once the part is out, you want to compare the old part with the new part to make sure that they are the same. Other than the color being different, mine was exactly the same. Installation is in the exact opposite order. First, connect the electrical connector. Then insert the resistor into its slot, followed by screwing in the bolt. Once all that is complete, just close the glove box and test your hard work to see if it paid off. Alright, so here's the real test. Parts in, only took about five minutes to really do. The hardest part was actually getting the screw back in. But other than that, it was a simple process. We got power on all of them. And that's how you fix a blower motor resistor on a 2002 Ford Focus.